parties here and prices here. The two big challenges facing the Prime Minister. For now, clarity on both issues in short supply. This Cabinet Minister unable to say who organised a meeting between Boris Johnson and Sue Gray, the senior civil servant investigating lockdown breaches. Sue Gray's first report didn't pull its punches. But who called the right? meeting? You know that the Prime Minister would never intervene in such an uh, investigation, has not intervened, has allowed it to happen. Sue Gray's... You, you can't question Sue Gray's integrity because... I've worked I'm with Sue Gray. I'm absolutely not questioning right? her integrity. And, I'm and her asking professionalism. a very, very you simple, will, you will, factual you question. You as I will. I, I, one, I don't know. Two, I don't know what's in the report. Is Boris Johnson off the hook? Sue Gray's team have been contacting people this weekend who will potentially be named in the report and giving them a chance to raise concerns. Labour says it still trusts the investigator. She is a, a civil servant of the highest integrity. We don't know the details of that meeting. Uh, it's not clear who called it. There's different accounts of that. So it's hard for me to say what was said there. Um, but I do have faith in her integrity. And let's see what she says when the report comes out. The working assumption among Tory MPs here is that Boris Johnson will have an ugly 48 hours when the Sue Gray report is published, but will ultimately survive it. Arguably, what's playing on their minds more now is the spiralling cost of living and the apparent lack of plan in government to help people cope. The possibility of a windfall tax on the profits of oil and gas companies has not been ruled out by the Treasury, with the Sunday Times reporting a version of the levy is on the table where there would be lower rates if firms invested more. Energy bosses say recent price rises are unprecedented. We are seeing a significant number of people in fuel poverty. That's to say more than 10% of their disposable income spent on energy, and that's risen to around 20%. And in October, our model suggests that that could rise to 40% if the government doesn't intervene in some way. So where are the Cabinet on the idea? The Chancellor hasn't ruled it out, saying he's not naturally attracted to it, but is pragmatic. Others are more critical. Today, the Northern Ireland Secretary said it wouldn't really work. The Health Secretary said yesterday, I instinctively don't like it. Last week, the Business Secretary said he was against that type of tax. And last month, the Justice Secretary said it would damage investment and be disastrous. I don't think the next election will be about party gate. I think it will be fought on which party has the best long-term plans for the economy, for the NHS. Uh, I think the core reasons that people vote Conservative, which is uh, the prospect of strong economic growth, the prospect of lower taxes, uh, these things are not true at the moment. After smouldering for months, the Partygate scandal will reach a flashpoint this week, but it's cost of living that may ultimately ignite the bigger row. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.